Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you not an old, uh, sorry, not a new technique. It is um, a fairly old one really. It's been around for a while and that is the baby wipe technique. Um, I know that a lot of people out there will know it and have used it and are bored with it and moved on to something new. Um, but I sometimes like to revisit old, um, old, the word's gone, techniques uh, with new products because I think sometimes they can look so much different. Um, obviously we've had flower shop around for such a long time um, but this was just simply using rainbow colours um, and I think for maybe a children's birthday party or a child's birthday card it would be real really good fun. Um, I mean on this one I simply used real red, Pacific Point, wild wasabi and crushed curry. Um, as you can see I added a few enamel spots just uh, enamel shapes just to add a little bit of texture and a little bit of shine um but i even used the same um baby wipe and inks to generate the happy birthday sign um, and i did the same again with this one using a different flower um not too impressed with this one the colors mixed and bled a little bit on this one so it wasn't quite as nice um that one i was really pleased with i thought it turned out well um, and I actually did these in my class last month as well, just so that, you know, I thought, well, my ladies might like an idea. Um, uh, and this one was more a case of showing you how to make it into a focal point and not just the main background of your card. Um, so obviously on this one, I used um, Timeless Textures um, and that beautiful pattern there. Um, again, on this one, if memory serves me correctly, I used Peekaboo Peach, Berry Burst, uh, tranquil Tide, and I think that was it. Berry Burst, Peekaboo Peach, Tranquil Tide, oh and Pool Party, that was right. And then this one I just take took out the Peekaboo Peach, so I just used the same colours. I was trying to go for a more manly look, but it didn't quite work. Um, but again, like I said, you can go for a focal point or you can have it as a full background. Um, so obviously my ladies are making their cards, so I thought, well, I'll have a sit and have a play. Um, and I came up with the a mixture of pinks and reds. Um, again, I think on this one it was Real Red, Sweet Sugar Plum and Blushing Bride. I did stamp this with just Sweet Sugar Plum. I um, obviously used a metallic doily just to back that off, but again using it as a background. I really like it. I do really like that card. I think it's really cute. Um, and so I thought, well, OK, let's have a go. My favourite perennial birthday. Um, I thought let's have a play see what we're going to come up with um, so I did I had a little bit of a play and was really pleased with the results and I'm not going to spoil it for you so I'm going to hopefully do it again today and hopefully it will come up just right so a couple of blocks I've got here I'm going with this single flower which is that one and then I'm going with the two leaves I am doing them separately so that's that part I then need my baby wipes which I get two of. Sometimes I have a third to wipe, oh actually I've got three, I was going to say sometimes I need a third to wipe my fingers because you do get quite inky with this. So move that out of the way. What I do is I lay them down one on top of the other and then I actually fold them over to generate this sort of little pack if you like and I'm just going to pull my stamp and scrub over here because I actually rest it on the corner of my stamp and scrub. It stops the ink bleeding through and going all over my table. It stops the baby wipe soaking my grid paper and it just seems to work quite well. So, so I've got my whisper white, just plain whisper white, nothing exciting. And I've got my three reinkers. Um, these are cheap as chips. They're £3.50 each. Um, and it, I just think that there's so much scope with them. You can watercolour with them. Uh, you know, you can simply just put some ink on one of your clear blocks, get your aqua painter or even your blender pen. I've not tried it with a blender pen, so I don't know if it would soak it up too much, but certainly with an aqua painter, you can pick up the colour and colour. Um, they are really handy to have. So I've got Blushing Bride, Berry Burst and Melon Mambo. And I'm simply going to put them so four drops on that one always put your lid back back on it doesn't matter what kind of a rush that you're in always put your lid back on berry burst is quite strong so we're just going to go with two of that one 
and then Melon Mambo again quite a sharp colour just three to fill in that gap and that's it you get your stamp you get your paper and for me I'm literally doing another background so I'm just going to go all over and I literally stamp on and onto my paper now what I do tend to do is well that bit give it a spray um I clean it whoops before I move on um let me just move my grid paper across and then that can sit there that's better and I just clean it because otherwise you're going to keep picking up the same colours so I just kind of pick it up wipe it clean it twist it so I've not got the same image all the time um, you could go for mainly a pink with just a touch of the colour on the side you could go with mainly the dark colours with a touch of pink or you can go with the centre and get a mixture of all that didn't come out too well but never mind and so you can just basically add them as you go along and like I said I'm just literally using this as a background so I'm just going with the four corners and then just adding some bits here and there spin that one round and I think maybe there and that will do for my flower so I'm quite happy I've got a few bits and bobs but we can put some some sort of banner or something across so I've done with that baby wipe that one's going in the bin I did get my th another one out which is fine so I'm just going to fold this up and I only need a small one so actually I can get away with that and for my leaves I'm going to use lemon lime twist and garden green and again garden green is a heavier colour so I'm just going to add some of that I've actually used four drops of that one and five of the lemon lime twist just because an extra one came out so now I've got my leaves and again just onto your ink or baby wipe and again like I said you can pick up your colours and do any type of random stamping you like which is my favourite random stamping and as you see I'm just picking up different colours here and there just moving the leaves so you have you can have your dark leaf so your dark is the bigger leaf the lighter is the smaller you can go for a sort of tip you can go for um, like a base type green Do you see what I mean it just it alters the look it doesn't make everything so unified and I just think they're great fun to sort of twist and play with and the other fun thing with this as well is that you can choose whatever colours you want to mix up so um, a lady in my class she used um, let me think I'll get this right she she went for sort of a traffic light type um, effect and literally used a red a yellow and a green and it looked fabulous and it really did look almost I want to say Victorian it was beautiful it was a really pretty card um, I should have taken a photo of it but I didn't okay so there's my card base and as you can see I think that's really quite pretty so I've got some melon mambo here that I'm simply gonna adhere this onto and then like I said you can either oops so there's my base and all you need to do then is to decorate it. So back in with my perennial birthday, and I'm obviously going with going to go with the large happy birthday. Let's pop these away while I'm here. So I'll just grab my H block, and there's my happy birthday. I've got a strip here of my um, whisper white, and I'm just going to go with some melon mambo.
just stamp, don't like that, didn't come out very well at all. Let's try again. That's better. Just clean that off. And then obviously I just need to trim it, pop it onto a piece of backing card, which I have here. Some more Melon Mambo. And I am, as you know, very naughty and I literally stick this on and then cut it to size because that's how I do it. So got that straight. And then I'm just going to trim this just so as it's the right size. Get that out of the way. And then you can just pop this on now. If you if you like me and you've messed it up, you can either change which way you put it, or the good thing, you can add some enamel shapes. I'm just grabbing my dimensionals, and I'm just going to pop this on here, and I will show you one I did in my class that inspired it, and the one that I made using very burst which I actually again think looks lovely so I'm going to put that in the centre to hide the one mess there and then I'm just going to grab my dimensional so I need my brights for some oops no they're subtles brights for melon mambo is what I need this is where I don't have any melon mambo left or oh, I do they're right at the back look um, I think they look more rose red than, oh no, that one is. And I'm just simply going to add, let's have a look. Uh, hearts, I think, might look nice. No, that would look silly. Do you know what? I'm just going to leave that as it is and have it as a flaw in the pictures. And just add some of these little hearts just around there. And I'm quite happy with that. I don't think it needs any more. And so that is my card done with the baby white technique and the beautiful perennial birthday. So this is the one that I did in my class. Not far off, actually. Um, I really liked it and I was really inspired by it. And then this is the card that I made using Berry Burst. And I used some of the magnetic, uh, sorry, magnetic, metallic uh, edge ribbon there. The Berry Burst metallic edge ribbon just to put it on the edge there. But I just think they are lovely and they just make cards just a little bit different and just make them look so pretty. Um, I hope I've inspired you to go and have a go with some baby wipes. Most people have wet wipes or baby wipes in their house and if not, they're really cheap to buy um, from any supermarket. I got mine from Aldi. Um, so yeah, they're really cheap and it gives you a great card. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope to see you all again soon. Bye.